Eric uh, from Bellingham, Washington in the U.S. I'm ready to talk with you about hurdy-gurdies. We're here to do an unboxing of my new hurdy-gurdy. This one came from China via eBay. I was curious about the quality and design. I don't expect it to perform well, and we're not going to get too far into the nuts and bolts in this video. This will be a visual inspection of how it arrives out of the box, and if possible, I'll tune it up and we'll have an initial listen. This was built in the Song Workshop in Hengshui, China, and it sells on eBay. They make decent stringed instruments such as violins, violas, viola da gamba, and other instruments. This model was developed from looking at photos, which is amazing if you think about it. Someone can reverse engineer a complex instrument from a photo. Granted, Song Workshop has many years of experience building other instruments, but the hurdy-gurdy is unusual in its complexity. We'll see how they did, and we can follow up with more detail in future videos. I bought this one on eBay. It was about $850 for the bid price, and it also sells Buy It Now for $934 or best offer. Shipping was about $100. Song has other models ranging from $850 to $1,200 plus shipping. I ordered it July 15th. The estimated delivery date was August 27, and it arrived via UPS to my post office August 17. It was available for pickup the next day, about 10 days ahead of delivery schedule. So let's take a look. The package is really light, much lighter than my altar wind. Alter winds are notoriously heavy though. A little bit of crushing damage to one end of the box, other than that, it looks pretty well packaged. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box now. I got my trusty uh, DeWalt box cutter. Let's see what we have inside. big fan of all this styrofoam, uh, but I suppose if it protects it, a nice bundle of things here. Let's see what's in the bundle. Comes with a leather strap. It's pretty nice. There's the wood handle, some rosin, and that must be for the case, the strap for the case, and some extra strings. We'll see if they're uh, the right strings. I'll. I'll take a, a gauge measurement of them. The hurdy gurdy is definitely pretty light. Time for the big reveal. Let's see what we got here. It seems pretty small, but let's see what it's like. All right, there it is. Look at that. Definitely smells like a new instrument. Yeah, 
that's pretty small, but hey. So there it is, that's what it looks like. Uh, let's do a couple measurements to see uh, what scale we're dealing with and how big this instrument really is. Alright, so let's get some measurements here. So I'm going to measure from the tail to the end of the headstock here and see how big it is. So it's looking about 60 centimeters. So it's pretty, it's pretty tight there. Let's take a look at the scale length. Ooh. So from the bridge to the nut, it's about 35 centimeters, 350 millimeters. That's pretty good. Um, some other notes here that I'm going to look note here is look at this key chest here. It's quite a crooked angle. It matches here really solidly, but it has open, and it has kind of a, a chintzy feel to it. Also looking at the cover here, that's pretty thin wood. I'm going to wait a day or so to let it acclimatize to uh, to where I live here. So I let uh, the song Hurdy Gurdy uh, set overnight and I tried tuning it up and uh, getting a decent sound out of it but it was impossible. I ended up breaking three strings and uh, the melody string that remains that's still in uh, tunable uh, it sounds kind of like an Aru when you play it, you know, you, where you have to wobble the notes in order to hold a note. Um, so the determination is pretty unplayable. Um, and some of the reasons are the string setup is way off. So the trumpet, the mouche, and the chanterelles, they are all about 0.65 millimeter. Um, and the petite bourdon and the gross bourdon are both 1.25 millimeter. So uh, the string setup is completely wrong. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the keys. They seem a little bit wobbly. I was surprised that the tangents were actually uh, really well built. Um, so there's a few things that this hurdy-gurdy would need to make it actually playable. It's definitely not playable out of the box shipped from China and it shouldn't be sold as a playable instrument. Um, but some of the preference things that, that I would do, I would replace the friction pegs with some nice banjo pegs, banjo tuners, because these friction pegs, they're nearly impossible. I'm sure you could use violin dope or something like that, uh, peg dope to to uh, fix that. The other thing is the strings, the cotton that they put on the strings, entirely too much and completely wrong. And then finally, uh, we're gonna look a little bit here at the dog. And if you look closely, there are two notches. Both notches are completely in wrong position. If it's in the notch nearest to the bridge, then it's entirely too much pressure on the wheel and it sounds terrible. And if it's in the notch outside, it doesn't make a sound it, or a very faint sound, if, if any sound at all. So it should be somewhere in the middle or what I suspect is that the bridge actually isn't deep enough to accept this because this tail isn't sitting all the way in. There's still a bunch of space there. So needs a new dog uh, to make this a playable instrument. Other than that, it seems like it's possible to make this into a playing instrument, but um, I think all of our suspicions and your suspicions are correct that it's 
not really a playable instrument. And the finish kind of reminds me of those cheap boxes that jewelry boxes that you can find like in a in a box store somewhere like a, a big box store chain store um, it, you know it's kind of nice and I, I like this shape um, it's kind of a nice shape but uh, I think paying upwards of a thousand dollars for an instrument like this it should be at least playable um, but this is not playable at all out of the box so there you have it, the song Hurdy Gurdy, uh, ordered from eBay. Uh, it's not really a playable instrument, uh, but it could be if someone wanted to take the time to fix it up and make it into a playable instrument. I, I do have some misgivings about the keys and whether they're actually um, usable. You might have to replace the keys, uh, but it seems like Placing keys and tuners and the dog and putting on the right strings, you might be able to set this up as a, as a decent instrument. So there you have it, the song Hurdy Gurdy. Thanks for